On the Canadian government website, if you go on the federal website, there's three words written largely on the flyers, on the pamphlets, on the web pages. Study, work, stay. There are people who say, oh, international students, they sign a letter, they say they're not going to stay. But the marketing of the country from this government itself tells students, you can study here, you can work here, you can stay here. So the reason we're here today is to actually say to the government, honor your word, honor your promises. And so since COVID, we've seen that international students new immigrants held up the entire economy. When a lot of Canadians were at home to isolate from COVID, it was international students, it was immigrants who were going out into the warehouses, onto the streets, in their cars and their bikes and their trucks to work under dangerous conditions. And even after COVID, we are still working. And this entire country, this entire economy runs on the backs of immigrants. There is no question about that. During COVID for international students, we saw that there was a 20 hour policy and they lifted the 20 hour policy. Why? Because Canadians weren't willing to work at that time. So they lifted the policy so that students could work full time. They used to say, oh, well, you have to focus on your studies. You can only work 20 hours. But during COVID, our studies didn't matter the labor market mattered more than our studies, right? So what we saw during COVID was, it was clear the Canadian government can change their policies, can change the immigration system according to their own economic needs. People are a resource. They can use us and then they can discard us. So they started giving PR, TR to PR pathways. But what we're seeing now, and the main problem is, that international students who have completed their study permit are now on their work permit, which is anywhere between eight months to two years, or three years. And now their work permits are expiring. And over the last several years, we've seen that processing of permanent residency files has slowed, there's been a backlog, and some of those promises, some of those expectations that new immigrants and students had uh, have been challenged. So now there's this backlog, there's this unpredictability, and tens of thousands of students are now facing mass deportations in the coming year or two because the government has been inconsistent, unpredictable, and unfair to international students and immigrant workers. And so we are here today to demand an extension of postgraduate work permits alongside a demand to stop exploitation through the LMIA system and to demand a fair pathway to PR. And our main slogan here today is, if we are good enough to work, if you wanna squeeze our labor out of us, we are also good enough to stay. We have a right to work and live here in dignity, in safety, with good wages, and to bring our families here and settle. And I will say this, this country needs immigrants. This is a retiring, aging population of mainly Europeans who need a new generation of people to keep working and holding up the economy. The Canadian government's data tells us this. And so over the next couple years, there will continue to be a labor shortage. So when the government says, well, we're going to kick you out, we're going to bring new students in, and every year they make us pay four times the tuition fees, what they're saying is, we want an endless supply of cheap labor, but we don't want you to stay here and have access to health care and education and all of the other rights that citizens have.